What is up everybody? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to take a quick look at the Zoom Superfly 9 Elite in the Killian Mbappe colorway. Um, this recently came out. I was able to get it early. I just never got around to making um, the video for it. So I'm doing that now. Um, I don't know too much about the colorway other than it was inspired by the Jordan 7. I don't see um, how or why. And then his like African roots, I believe. Um, so um, yeah, I don't understand or know where the Jordan 7 inspiration came from for that. But I mean, I, di I do know they didn't make like a, a Bordeaux 7. I don't know if that has to do with it. Um, but yeah, so let's open it up, take a look. Here we go. Here's the boot right here. So the swoosh kind of has the M in it from Bape. Um, not a cool or good looking colorway, I would say. Um, kind of just a whole bunch of different things put together, in my opinion, what it looks like. And there's his initials, of course, as logo on the back. So as far as features, it's the same as what has already came out. It's just his own personal colorway. Maybe he likes these colors. Maybe again, like I said, his um, African roots. Um, maybe they have something to do with that. Um, as far as the colors, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what the boot looks like. Um. I mean, they really do put a lot of detail into the boot, obviously, for him. But I still, hmm, I still think that nothing is going to beat, you know, either Ronaldo's or even um, Neymar as far as, you know, carrying the Mercurial line. And I don't know if sales are doing too good. Because his last colorway, that like light purple, I didn't even bother getting it. And it took a while to sell out, actually. Um, so, makes you wonder if they're really getting a lot of sales with him being the guy, I guess, in the Mercurial line. String bag's kind of cool. Nice little color. I like that. I don't know if I'll be keeping these, to be honest. Because it's just not my cup of tea as far as the colorway it's like a let me see what the exact colorway is it does say dark beetroot metallic and vivid gold sorry I know that was out of focus for you guys but yeah so yeah it's just it's just I don't know I don't know if he has much say in his colorways but it's just weird I don't know not something that I could have or feel you know nice having on my feet I guess and, and that's and that's totally weird that's more of a fashion statement than obviously than a football statement but then again I don't consider myself a very good footballer I can I would consider myself more of a fashionista you know I don't get paid to play football so I don't really care in saying that these on my feet would probably not look good but i'll try them out i'll probably try them for a game and see what i think but speaking on mercurial line the new mercurial and superfly vapor and superfly i just played on like a very hard ground and i it did not the air zoom unit did not feel good i don't know if anybody else is experiencing that but I feel like you have to play on a very soft surface in order to like for it to feel comfortable. Um, maybe I just I was just feeling the the zoom unit too much and it, it didn't feel good, which is weird because again they put these in sneakers. They they put that same technology inside sneakers, and when you're on sneakers and walking on hard ground, it feels okay. But for some reason, I just I I I, I mean I feel 
I understand why a lot of pros haven't totally switched over, and and that's the norm normally. Ever since the um, Superfly Six and Vapor Twelve came out, the pros didn't make the switch um, right away into those, and going forward with the rest of the versions. So they are taking a while now to switch over, and I feel like maybe just because you know Nike already perfected the boot, and it's like. Now they're just trying to figure out how to sustain it or, you know, keep refreshing it, I guess. But it's going to be real tough to do that when you already made something that people really like. You know, people really love the Vapor 10, um, even previous models. I, I believe the Superfly 4, I think, or Superfly 5. I'm not too sure. Um, so, you know, it's it's kind of hard for them to keep innovating but they're trying obviously they're trying i just don't know if this um new mercurial vapor and superfly are better than any previous version i mean yeah you could say it's more comfortable because of that but at the same time it has to be on the right conditions for me anyway and then a lot of people have been saying that they are wider than um the eight and i just do not feel that these feel way much tighter um, which isn't a bad thing but these definitely feel tighter um, than the last version on foot but that's just maybe my foot type I'm not sure um yeah I don't know a lot of youtubers have said that they're wider but I just don't feel that at all let me know in the comments if you've got to try them what you think if you feel that you know if you like this better um I, I guess I appreciate that the price didn't change that's one thing that i do really like on nike's part um and again shipping is still being delayed on all nike products so yeah you just gotta have to be on the lookout for them if you are trying to um buy any other new products just keep checking keep refreshing you know i do it every day just to see what pops up they just released some new their new phantoms barely they barely got their temples in so i mean they're coming they're just taking a while i guess um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching this quick video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. If you're new here, subscribe. Um, drop a like, thumbs up, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.